bitch. Boy, you bitches know what's up with me. Batty, let's get it. I heard bitches want war cause I snatched they nigga. She drank Batty on the scene, got these bitches triggered. Uh -huh. Cold streaming, they don't like me, so what's up in the stuff? So. I can say what y'all want, but look, I don't give a fuck. I'm by my cheese, all that other shit dead. It's dead. All right, guys, so it's Ray Ra from Rock Magazine, uh -huh. and we are with Pretty D. We back. Hey, boo. <laughs> What's up? So what have you been up to? Oh, my God. So the last time we spoke, mm -hmm. it was about almost two years ago, mm -hmm. and I told you I was dropping a project, and I was working on acting and stuff. Um, I actually did the Baddies East audition yesterday. It was in oh. Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, for those of guys. Those of you who don't know, that's on the Zeus Network um, with mm -hmm. Natalie Nunn and like a bunch of girls from like the Bad Girls Club and stuff. Um, child, a mess. Oh yeah. Ghetto as hell. <laughs> a mess. It was a good experience because I never really like done reality TV and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it was just something to check off the bucket list as like you know an entertainer to be like, oh, I've done an audition for this, but yeah. a mess. Mm -mm. Yeah. Would would never do it again. Uh -huh. It was just too much. It was too ghetto. So what went on? Like, what was it happening? was just like, it was actually really degrading. Like, uh -huh. it was a lot of fights. It was just a lot of like ghetto ratchetness. Like, I'm all for the fun because I'm I'm clatchet, classy ratchet. Mm -hmm. So I know how to turn it down, how to turn it on. But when I do turn my ratchet on, I'm about to like pull off my wig on camera to to get camera time. Like you know, like oh, I'm about to punch a girl in the face that's walking by. Yeah. Just because she walking by, like, mm -hmm. what? No, like, it was a lot of that going on. It was a lot of clown behavior. Mm -hmm. The the It was a lot of, it was very scripted, too. Like, it was very, like, corny. I don't know. I just, I didn't, mean, yeah. wasn't my cup of tea. Okay. Maybe regular acting, I'll stick to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, um, reality TV, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Um, I've been working, I'm still working on the project. Like, I don't know what's going on with me. But lately I've been finding my sound mm -hmm. and all the songs I had previously from before that I was putting on the project, I just feel like I'm past that. Yeah. So I had to like go back in and just kind of redo everything. Like whole new songs, a whole new sound, whole new name. Like, so I'm just still really working on it because I want it to just be great. Because I never dropped the project before. Yeah. Like not an EP, not nothing. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure it's perfect. Yeah, so you said you have a new name? Yeah, I'm thinking, I didn't think of the name yet, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking it. Because I know before, I think I told you I wanted to name it, like, Not Another Pretty Face. So what are some things that you've done, I guess, to, like, find your new style? Um, so I've been visiting different places. I've been hanging out with different crowds, like, not just my normal African-American crowd. <laughs> I've been, like, all over. I've been going to a lot of Spanish countries. Okay. I've been really trying to like really get into Spanish. Mm -hmm. I was just speaking Spanish at the restaurant across the street. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just been I've been trying to like see new things, like you know, like do new things, go to new places with my daughter. Yeah. Like you know, just experience new things, yeah. so I can have more to talk about and not just the same old like I'm from the hood, gritty, yo, smack my butt and yeah, yeah like no twerking, no, mm -hmm. trying to talk about real stuff. Um, so before when we spoke, you were a part of uh, Feed the Family. Entertainment. Entertainment, <laughs> yes. So, Ooh, um, child. Are you still a part of that? What's going on with that? Um, I'm not, you know, he's mm -hmm. a good person, but every, like business situation, sometimes it doesn't work out and that's fine. Mm -hmm. Like I, will, I wanted to depart um, professionally. Mm -hmm. And we kind of did that. I mean, I don't feel like it was no, like, static, no beef. Mm -hmm. I mean, now I feel like it's a little, like, you know, a little funny stuff. But I guess that's the industry. I'm not going to partake in that, mm -hmm. you know. It didn't work out business-wise, but I wish him the best of luck. I wish his brand, his company, the mm -hmm. best of luck. But peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no shade. Um, so with that, do you feel like, um, you have a little bit more like creative control? Are you able to do things a little more differently as an independent artist? Um, so with him, because he was, um, in the industry for a little while, he has like, um, he's very territorial, like mm -hmm. over his artists. So it's not that I, I was, I couldn't be creative. I could be creative, but it was just annoying me that I had to 
weight with my creativity. Like it's like I be creative, make a track, but then it's like, oh no, we're not putting it out yet. You, like let's wait. Let's like we're not doing this. Let's wait. And it's just like no, like let's not. Like it's so funny. I was having a conversation with somebody, and I was telling them like you have to remember because it's easy to forget. You don't work for a manager. A manager works for you. But it's really easy to forget that because we get so comfortable with letting them do every single thing so that they start to feel like, like, you're my artist. And it's just like, no, you're my manager. Like, you work for me, not I work for you. Yeah. Like, if, if, I could, if I get up and say, I don't want to do no motherfucking music no more, you, you ain't going to have a job. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You could say you don't want to be my manager no more. I could go get another manager. Mm-hmm. So, but um, it wasn't that I wasn't able to be creative. It just was, he was just real, like territorial with certain things and I guess like it worked out sometimes but it was it was kind of annoying but being on my own now I feel like I'm doing it the way I want to do it yeah. not with somebody else but like based on their experience because this is a whole new ball game this is a whole different year it's you know it's different music is not the same like it was 25 years ago right like everything is social media and mm-hmm. so I get to do it how I want to do it and yeah. I love that yeah, and I personally feel like the music style or not even just the style of music, the way of marketing, the way of everything changes like every Crazy. couple of years. Seriously. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Exactly. Now everything is viral. Yeah, right. That's, that's what it <laughs> it's is. It's no right real, now. real talent and work. It's just mm-hmm, viral. Mm-hmm. Or like how much followers you got, I guess. I don't yeah, know. yeah. Be like that. Um, so you did have a couple of hot singles since yeah. we last um, did our last interview. Yeah. Um, I really liked the Beautiful Girl song. Yeah, shout out to Billy. Did. Yes, with Billy B. Uh-huh. Um, so what are some things that you have coming up? Are you, I guess, do you have an end date for your project? Are you still working on I it? I was supposed to have that damn project out before Summertime Child. I don't know what's up with me. like. I, the funny thing is, I only have one more song to do, mm-hmm. but it's just like the beats I've been getting is just not giving me the vibe I want to get. Mm-hmm. Like they're they're okay beats, but it's no it's no it's not a beat where it's just like I want that beat where you turn on the song and before I even start rapping, you already love the song because the beat. Right. Yeah. And I have not got that, so mm-hmm. it's like I'm just stuck until I get and I'm not budging because mm-hmm. they're like, girl, just make the last one song. It's not that serious. The other four is perfect. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I want the beat I want, and that's that. Yeah. So I'm working on the project still, mm-hmm. and I'm going to keep working on it. Yeah. And um, I'm getting into some acting. I got an agent. Okay. Shout out to Bernard Management. Mm-hmm. I've been working with. Um, and, yeah, he's trying to get me some gigs with acting. Okay. I think that's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited for that. So would you say, because you've, you've put out lots of songs that have done really well. Yes. Um, but would you say that you feel like you're still searching for that one song that's just gonna, I don't know. Absolutely. Okay. Like that one hit, that undeniable, yes. that is just like, it's catchy, everybody love it. Like it's just, it just caught on fire. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Because it's hard being a female artist. You, mm-hmm. um, it's easy to appeal to women, but you also gotta like appeal to men. Yeah, so it's like, you don't wanna be, too rough because guys is just like, okay, she's scaring me. And then you don't want to be too girly because then they're like, I don't want to hear that shit. Like, right, right. so you just got to find like just that balance. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to do. It's not like an easy thing because if that's the case, we'll all be like doing, you know, like yeah, on right. or doing it. Mm-hmm. So, but I feel like it's going to come when it's, when it's supposed to come. Yeah. I feel like I'm there though because mm-hmm. I'm getting better and better and better. So mm-hmm. I know it's coming. So what are some other things that you have happening and coming up? You have any like shows or anything like that? Um, so I have, I did an interview with Brooklyn Boys Radio. I don't know if you ever watched Money and Violence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. So they have a, um, a, sort of like a podcast. It's like a conversation. It's called Brooklyn Boys Radio. Um, okay. I did that. The episode just came out. Mm-hmm. That was super dope. Um, I'm supposed to be going back there actually, cause it's two guys. So they're like, oh, we needed like a female girl, like, you know, some estrogen in here. Yeah. So I've been trying to work on like landing that gig, but I'm like, I come probably like twice a month okay. and do it with them. So yeah. I've been working, trying to get that done. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a photo shoot about two weeks ago. So look out for those pictures and the content from that. It was super dope. Mm-hmm. Um, I was half naked, but it was very classy. <laughs> 
Um, and yeah, I, it's summertime is coming. So, you know, it's a bunch of summer jams and this and different festivals. So my PR, shout out to Yanni, she's been working on securing all of that. Okay. Um, I actually am push, putting out to, um, to um, brand myself to DTLR radio. I don't know if you heard of it. No, so I'm working on I'm working on that, like branding myself to them. Like they do everything. They do clothing, sneakers, radio, like uh-huh. fashion shows, all type of stuff. So yeah. I'm working with they work with big artists too. So okay. wish me luck with yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, and I also wanted to ask you about the baddie pack. The baddie pack. <laughs> Shout out to the baddie pack. <laughs> the baddie pack is my baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I stopped working. I bartend for Everybody who don't know, besides music, I've always bartended, right? Mm-hmm. And um, it slowed up a little bit because my venue, um, it obviously it goes based on how many shows they, they get. Yeah. Um, so it kind of slowed up and I was like, damn, I need some way to make some money, mm-hmm. like legally, but fast. Yeah. <laughs> and my brother, shout outs to Gas Wars, they were already selling me and my brother had hit me up like, do you mind if I use your face for like a package? Like I could give you a percentage or you could sell it too. So I was just like, I'll sell it too. And from the day I started selling it, it was crazy. Like oh. it was selling out. I was making so much money off of weed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, I should have started selling weed um, before. <laughs> Shit, I could have been getting all this money from this whole time. But <laughs> shout outs to the baddie pack. Put me yeah. where I need to be. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Um, so is there anything else you want to mention? I feel like we covered we covered definitely um no just make sure y'all look out for new music make sure y'all stream make it hot that's my new single i dropped drumsticks but make it hot is my new new single um the video should be out in about two weeks mm-hmm. i did it like a month ago so we're almost done editing i just saw the final edit is fly as hell mm-hmm. so make sure y'all check that out um subscribe to all my channels youtube instagram twitter facebook everything is i am pretty deej d-i-j Make sure y'all lock in, tune in. Shout outs to Ray Rock and Rock Magazine. I appreciate y'all for having me. Thank you for coming. Of course, anytime. (laughs) All right.